I don't know what it was. Antibodies. Antibodies. I don't know. I took it. I said I felt like Superman. You know? President Trump says he's recovered from COVID-19, in part thanks to an antibody cocktail. They gave me Regeneron. It's called Regeneron and other things, too. But I think this was the key. But the reason that this is called a cocktail is because they have two separate antibodies that have been developed and that are given together. According to the White House physician, President Trump received three treatments for the coronavirus, a steroid called dexamethasone, antiviral drug remdesivir, and biotech company Regeneron's cocktail of monoclonal antibodies. So what are all these drugs? And how can we know if any of them actually make a difference? I can't tell you which one of those was um, effective. Um, it may have been all three. It may have been that he was already on his way to getting better, and had he received no therapy, he would have gotten better. The steroid dexamethasone is usually given to patients to stop the immune system from raging out of control. Remdesivir is an antiviral drug originally developed to treat Ebola and was identified early on as a possible COVID treatment. It's designed to gum up the tiny molecular machinery inside a, a cell that makes copies of the virus. Wrapped in a fatty shell with protein spikes. To, to make copies These of itself. And if you can't make copies of itself, then, then it can't continue with the infection. Regeneron's cocktail works a little differently. It gives the body's natural immune response a boost by delivering antibodies to it. Antibodies are proteins naturally made by the immune system to protect against foreign invaders like viruses. Whenever uh, someone is infected with, say, a virus, and particularly for COVID-19, they do develop antibodies, which is a type of immune response. And this immune response helps us clear the infection um, and recover. Most people, it takes about two weeks to develop that immune response. But these antibodies, known as monoclonal antibodies, are manufactured. Synthetically produced antibody clones that target a specific piece of the virus. Monoclonal antibody treatment was pioneered by Congolese scientist Jean-Jacques Muyombe to treat Ebola. And monoclonal just means that it's made in the factory, like imagine it just sort of printing it out, every antibody looks exactly the same. What a monoclonal antibody is, is identifying that type of antibody, maybe one or two, that are really effective, at least in the lab, in neutralizing this virus. And then making that antibody, say in a factory, um, putting it into a vial and then just giving it with a syringe to uh, a patient. So you're basically giving them, instead of waiting two weeks, you're giving them the antibody right away. These monoclonal antibodies block the virus from getting into our cells and replicating to by binding to it and, to and neutralizing it. And start to direct the monoclonal to antibody treatments are not yet available outside of clinical trials. And so these but early data suggests that the treatment might reduce the amount of virus in non-hospitalized patients. What was found um, is that the antibody combination did uh, result in speeding up the clearance of the virus from the upper airways of these patients, particularly those who did not have antibodies to start with, which means that they were very early on in their illness as opposed to others. But there is limited data on how effective these drugs are in treating the coronavirus. And even less is known about how they interact with each other. The treatments Trump received are still being studied in clinical trials, which are studies that test the safety and effectiveness of new drugs in humans. But a drug may not improve outcomes for everyone. And when patients agree to be part of a clinical trial, they don't necessarily get the new drug. In a randomized controlled or double-blind study, individuals sign up to be in the study and then they're just kind of randomly assigned to either get the, the active product like remdesivir or a placebo. A randomized controlled trial, especially if it's double blind, is considered the gold standard. Um, and without it, you know, we always have that little bit of doubt. Does it really work? I really don't know. But if I see the results from a randomized controlled trial, you know, then I'm a believer. Another clinical trial of monoclonal antibodies, this one by Eli Lilly, was recently paused due to potential safety concern. Now, an independent review board will look at the data collected so far to determine if it's safe for the study to continue. But a monoclonal antibody could reach hospitals before clinical trials conclude. Both Eli Lilly and Regeneron filed for emergency use authorization with the FDA, which would allow the drug to be administered before it's fully approved. 
the way that the, Fed, the FDA says that there's um, enough data in sort of a dire situation to say, okay, it's okay to use this medicine until we have enough data to get full authorization. It doesn't mean that it doesn't still need to get FDA authorization through the typical pathways, but it's a way for people to get early access to a drug that might be, that might be life-saving. Although the preliminary data is promising, there is still much more testing to be done before a drug is fully approved. And even when treatments are shown to work, there are still issues of access and cost. Still, some remain optimistic about the rapid progress science has made so far. I must say, looking back, um, I'm actually really proud of what we've been able to accomplish, really kind of grassroots as well, like a lot of investigators and scientists just working together very, very quickly to stand up incredibly complex studies. I mean, huge multi-center studies with brand new interventions. Um, and the fact that we can have data really within six months showing interventions that have a mortality benefit like dexamethasone, I think is actually pretty incredible. So, you know, it's hard. We always think about the mistakes or lost opportunities. Um, but, you know, I think over time we'll look back and say that there were a lot of winners during this as well and some pretty amazing accomplishments.